Hi, and welcome back to myexcelonline.com. Today, we are going to go over how to use AI in Microsoft Excel. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. Let's go back to one of our earlier spreadsheets from one of the dashboards that we made in a previous video. Right here, I have a bunch of budgeting information for my own personal home budget. I have my data by date, what store I went to, the amount I spent, and what category I would like to keep track of for that expenditure. But here's something really important when dealing with data and AI. It's a good idea to have a header on your data column because it will be much easier to reference that data column when you ask your AI type questions. Now just keep in mind that the AI in Excel isn't perfect. It's not going to get your more complicated questions answered. So we still need humans to be in there analyzing data on a really complicated level. But the AI is really helpful inside of Excel, especially if you are a new user to Excel. It can be a great training tool for you. So how do we access Excel's AI functionality when we are inside of Excel? Let's go over to Home and go all the way to the right over here to this group called Analysis, which has this button called Analyze Data. So if I click on that, this sidebar will appear where I can ask a lot of questions to Excel. And this is where Excel's AI built-in functionality can be accessed. So the first thing I would like to show you when using Excel's AI is how you can just start typing some general questions over here in the question box and ask Excel to analyze your data for you. So using my headers up here for my data, I'm going to type in amount by category bar chart and hit enter. And you can see that Excel has created a bar chart for me with the sum of the amount for each one of my categories over here in my category column and my amount column. If I would like, I can insert this pivot chart right here onto a new tab and customize it to the look that you would like to have. I can also go in here and type amount by category by month and hit enter. And you can see down here that I'm getting a pivot table for my data. And at the top, I can see that it's all of 2023, but the month is starting to appear here. And I can see the categories down here and the sum of those categories per month. So I can see that just by typing a couple of the keywords that are inside of my headers up here, that I can get some useful data in the form of a pivot table down here. I can also type this in, max of amount by category by month. And I can see down here that I'm getting the beginnings of a pivot table that show my totals by month, by category, and by the max of each one of those for the month. So if I were to look here for the month of November, and I were to look at each one of my foods. I have 157 here, I have 250 here, and I have 125 here. And so I know that the max of those three is 250 and that is what's showing up right here in the pivot table. So analyze data so far, we have seen that you can get your results back in the form of a chart or you can get them back in the form of a pivot table. And you can either take that chart or that pivot table and insert it into your current spreadsheet. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. So let me show you some other kinds of questions that you can ask. If I hit the X here, I will clear out my question box. So I'm just going to type, are there any category trends and I can see down here that there are some trends on my category. There's something in here that is higher than everything else. And if I scroll down, 
I can see that a chart has been created down here and it tells me that rent is noticeably higher than the rest of my data. And for me, for my expenses, that makes sense. But if you're using this in a business environment, there might be some data that you don't realize is higher than everything else. Or if you're using this in quality and you have a certain number of rejects by machine, you may be able to see some of those insights as well. I can also ask, instead of trends, I can also ask, are there any category insights? That's another good word to be using with Excel AI. So if I hit enter, I can see I'm getting something very similar showing me that my rent is higher than all of my other expenses. And let's close Analyze Data and just go back to Home and open it up once again. I wanted to show you when you haven't been asking lots of questions that Excel suggests some questions that you could ask. And if I scroll down, I can see that I could get like amount by category, I can also see that there's outliers. I can also see that rent is my biggest expense. And down here, the same thing. This one though is doing it by store. If you look over here, I just happen to put rent as the name of my store, which also matches the name of my category. So it just looks a little confusing in my case because I've used rent here and rent here. And if I hit show more, I can see where I spend most of my money in my entertainment category. And I only have a couple stores for that. I have theater and I also have movies. So I can see that I've spent more at the theater than at the movies. Same thing for my utilities. I can see I spend more on my heating than my other, what I called stores. And my other stores for my utilities would be water right here and electricity right here. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of the different suggestions you can ask Excel's AI for, for different ways of looking at your data. And maybe AI will come up with an option that you haven't already thought of, but you thought might be a really useful way to be displaying your data. So hopefully that gives you a good introduction to AI in Microsoft Excel and some of the options that you have for asking questions. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please leave them below in the comments and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.